Good morning, everyone. Today is uh, Monday, the 5th of December. So let's um, do a top down analysis of the US study really quickly. If, and I'm gonna have to, I'm gonna erase all the previous markings and all that stuff. So we start fresh and draw new zones and support resistance and so on and so forth. But before I do that, um just to let you guys see, I actually took a trade last night just because I believe the pair was the US study was actually going up. Um and there was a bullish pin bar print. Um if you can see, let me just say. If you can see where my line is following up on this particular candle which says bullish pin bar and in fact all my moving averages were lining up so i got in and i put a one is to um actually i was actually going to go for my one is to five ratio that was my um profit really so it was there and um yeah but um unfortunately it did not in fact yeah so it was about there really so it's on a one hour yeah so really um lost this trade last night when i was sleeping but um it's okay you know it's just one of those things and again it's um it was 69 pips to 105 so it's not too bad but yeah there we go so anyway just to let you guys see one of the trades that i took and um, didn't pan out the way i wanted it to because i genuinely thought normally when you see patterns like that you can see like goes up and then it goes like you know consolidation it flies up again but having said that it is kind of like it has gone on a downtrend but i still believe like we can do a top-down analysis now but i do believe that it is actually still all bullish very bullish but let's just have a look at it again so i'm just going to delete all of the markings there we go and i'm going to off all the indicators just so that we have a naked chart Uh, I've just realized that my support resistance indicator is there. I don't even understand why it's there, but anyway. Okay, I'm going to off the divergence as well. Okay, make this. And anyway, let's start from the, let's start from weekly to see where we are. Okay. So for the weekly, we can see it has actually broken, right? So if we... I'm going to erase this zone in a bit, but I just want to draw it just so I can have a... So we have previously, in many videos, we have said there's a liquidity zone right about there. So it has prices broken out. Basically, it could be a fake out, come right back down, right? You know my drills. So it comes right back down, does a retest into the zone and drops down again. Or basically, it is just coming for a retest and it's going to go fly up. So at the moment, it is bullish because if you were to draw a weekly trend line, you can actually see it has broken. Okay, I want to draw it here right about actually. So there. There we go. So it has broken. So we could literally wait for price to come back even to this bit here and go back up again. So it just really um we gotta wait and see what it does on the weekly if you guys get me but at the moment i do believe it it has broken and it's on the uptrend at the moment right but it's very hard to say if it's going to be a fake up we have to wait for the retest um okay this is on a daily again very daily is very similar right we have got a broken zone here but i'm going to look for liquidities at the moment yeah, okay. So this is what I would draw on a uh, daily. So that is the liquidity point here, right? So it has come out. Uh, basically, you we can see if price is going to come down here, do a fake out. So this will be interesting to kind of see what it does. So price has basically gone there, come down here. Okay. And then basically, if it's on the downward movement, then it is basically just going to do a touch. Oopsie. Sorry, guys. Okay, this is what I was trying to draw. So this was the other way around, okay? So this is down, touch the zone, come back down. Or basically, it's just going to come down and go back up again. And... Uh, 
touch this. Come back. Sorry guys, I don't know what that was. I think my microphone just went dead on me for a bit. But anyway, like, so because this is a bullish, um, like a liquidity zone, this highlight, bullish leg out really, this is what I call it. And I would personally be looking for a fake out to the down and before it rallies up again. And if it's not a fake out to the down, you're going to see that price is going to go back up again. Like what I say, do another top rejection and then drop all the way back down. Right, so this is how I see this as another leg out here as well, uh, but it's it's at the bottom. I don't think price is going to go all the way down, like I said, um, but I'm going to be more focusing on this zone here just to see what price is actually trying to do, um, yeah, on a, on a daily basis, okay? I'm just going to drop price down to four hours right now. Yeah. On a four hour, just because I'm looking for buys at the moment, I'm not looking for any sales. I would basically just see, see, it's come down into this zone. If you can see, it's gone up. We just have to wait and see what it really does. At the moment, I still feel like price is not really giving the signal ready to take entry, if that makes sense. At least that's what I don't see anything really setting up. Yeah, if you can really see this, it's just like that hoovering, if that makes sense to you guys. Can you see? There's another liquidity zone right here as well, which is where we have drawn our zone. You know, you can actually draw liquidity zones right smack in the lower time frames as well. I kind of just draw it on the higher, sometimes four hours, um, just because I just think that they tend to be a bit more accurate on a long term rather than short term, you know? But uh, but yeah, if you can actually see, if you're going to look at price, you can, there's another zone here, over here, which is a one hour, which is a bearish leg out. So it's basically done. A rejection up here is teetered at the top. It's coming right back down. So if it is on the upward momentum, it's going to come back down and going to go up retest the zone again and then it's going to fly so basically it's going to do a fake out right at the bottom here that's what it's going to do right um so we just have to wait and see what what happens around this area for we to for us to actually decide if the top bit here is a fake out and it's going to continue on the downward momentum if it is it is actually going to continue down come back for a retest that's where your entry would be and then take the, the candles continue downward movement um this is yeah so i would say at the moment it is overall trend it's uptrend definitely we will on the indicators later to have a look but i do believe overall trend it is a downtrend um yeah but on a short term it could be a short term sales right so i'm basically unless my moving averages line up i'm not even going to be looking for any um sales whatsoever i'm just going to wait for the correct indication again to see what market does before I go in because even on a four hour if you were to draw a trend line which I'm not going to draw I'm going to draw support resistance at the moment you can see it's a beautiful uptrend at the moment guys okay there's no break of structure whatsoever at the moment okay I'm just quickly going to just make this as small as possible um, and I'm going to draw support resistance on a four hour okay so we go here and as I've said before, support resistance is basically all your touch points, guys, where prices come down to touch. At the moment, it is quite at a zone where it looks important at the moment. So we just want to be a bit careful. I like to draw a couple which are very close just because, just because um, on a four hour, the gaps can be quite big. So if you draw them close, it is still fine just because, um, you will get quite a bit of pips in between anyway from a move um you know from one support resistance to the other kind of a thing right so but if you want nearer nearer support resistance which will that be you go down to the one hour and you can draw more if you want but i just kind of just draw this and then i turn on my support resistance indicator just to help me you know move around so price is somewhat around here at the moment i'm probably just going to see if i can draw one more which would be somewhere about here. 
there we go okay and I'm, and I'm gonna leave it at that for now so just not too many lines just two below the two below the um better prices just two below that and then two above that I'm kind of done as price moves along we can kind of just delete the unwanted ones and add more right so really we are on the uptrend on a on a higher time frame let's kind of um on back our trend lines so phoenix can you see how beautiful this is guys okay i'm actually just going to delete all this off just so that makes it easier for the eyes like i want to be able to see what i'm doing as well without all this i'm pretty sure i've kind of yeah okay you know, I really honestly need to find a better way to delete all of them collectively. Okay, anyway. You can see this on a four hour. It is an uptrend. At the moment, price is hovering. I'm going to on my pin buy indicators as well. We've had a bearish pin buy indicator here, which price is dropping. If you can see, okay, with almost zero. No, that is a bit of drawdown. But um, it is dropping. Price opened up with a gap as well this morning. If you guys can see the gap, right from this, this was on a Friday close. This was a, this was a Sunday, so basically, yeah, on the, the fresh open for the week, there's been a gap, and basically, price is dropping. Um, we have to see price could basically come down here and reject. I don't know. We just have to see what it's doing at the moment. Like I said, we've got a zone here. We want to see whether this is the fake out and price is just going to go downward or the other way around okay so i would basically just hold it out a little bit at the moment the fed the moving averages are fanning out just absolutely amazing um again i would say price is just again can you see the consolidation zone box when i turn on my indicator it's turned on i'm going to show off it and see the difference can you guys see it right so you can see at the moment it's kind of just in the consolidation zone um yeah so less than one hour again we have had consolidation zones so really when i entered here this was my entry point this morning when price opened up um again it was consolidation i was in a slight profit um having entered this so it did have a bullish print bar print but unfortunately it decided to just tamp down um again it's just one of those things so i'm just going to wait for price to go do its thing probably let it play out today and look for a better entry tomorrow but if I do see something really setting up, then I would probably go in. But I will wait for, again, for price to go up and wait for a bullish pin bar at my 10 or 21 EMA before I actually enter again. So, yeah, that's that's my thing on, on US 30 today. Really, it's consolidating, but at the same time, a higher time frame, I look at it as a bullish. It could be a short-term sell, like I said, but not something that I would go in unless on the lower time frames let's see what my moving averages yeah you look at the lower time frames can you guys actually see that they are starting to line up so when they're fully lined up and if you see a cell you could go in but again just be very careful just to make sure that it's not a point where it's actually reversing back up if that makes sense right so um i'm just gonna quickly look at divergence just to see where possibly price could go uh not really just because i don't see anything yeah there we go okay maybe we could do a divergence here and see where price could go but uh not di not divergence sorry fibonacci my bad it's the monday morning start guys oopsie okay i'm just gonna see and I'm going to make it bigger. So roughly, I'm just trying to see where I could expect price to go. To be fair, guys, look at this. If I were to draw it on a weekly, price literally came down to the 0 0.3 mark here. So I don't know if it's really going to go back down, to be honest, you know. Um, maybe 0 0.5. I don't know. I don't... Because it's been so bullish, I feel like, you know price because it is every time there is like a liquidity fill you know every time there's a bullish candle you get a pin bar like a liquidity fill you got a nice liquidity fill all the way up to the 0 0.3 mark so maybe this might come back somewhere around here um personally i don't think it's going to go 
way down. I personally don't think so. I just feel it's going to be a small liquidity fill candle. Price is just going to teeter and um, we're going to see a buy again. Let's just wait for, you know, for movements in the market. Let's just look at the sales. Let's see how far it's going to go and um, and wait for the right entry for a buy. At least that's what I'm looking for at the moment. Um, yeah, but keep an eye on the liquidity zones that we have drawn where um demand and supply is everyone kind of just keep a very close eye on that you know just to see if price like over here we want to really test to see what price is really going to do wait for the rejection and um yeah and then take your entries as safely as you can guys right so at the moment just to sum up overall trend is a buy looking maybe for short-term sales but price is really consolidating in the zone so um yeah, so that's my take on US 30. Nothing really much going on. And hopefully we have something better setting up for tomorrow. So see you guys tomorrow, guys. Don't forget to check your news. And tomorrow, most likely, we'll look at another pair, probably, um, you know, any other Audi USD and stuff. Like, they all are fanning out really nicely as well for a buy Audi USD on an hour. But as you can see, um, there's no bullish pin bus print at the moment. But at the same time, it's also moving downwards very similar to how us 30 is actually moving at the moment so but overall but you see audi usd overall trend is a sell guys you know so this could just be a, a like you know we have a downward trend this is just a retracement to if you, this is my old marking and look at where price has passed it's passed it's it could be going for the 0 0.7 but it's just passed and hit over the 0 0.61 mark and we have a bearish pin bus. The price could be dropping back down. This could just be a retracement. We have to really do a markup again just to see whether there's been a break of structure where the price is actually going to go bullish. Um, but yeah, we could have a look at Audi USD again tomorrow. But even on a weekly, guys, look at this. It's rejecting the 50, and it is all fanning out nicely. And it's a bearish pin bar, so um, it could be going right back down. To be honest, so let's look at the. Flip the divergence okay yeah okay so i would again let's have a look at this pair tomorrow um but i think it's going to go back down it's a sell for um audi usd right a long-term sell I, I believe that's what it's going to be but anyway guys so um happy trading and um see you guys tomorrow